YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views as well as talented artists from around the world. Now once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views but I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now today I'm going to do my best to upload about four reactions and I will let you know on these particular artists as I'm going along. So so my fourth reaction of today is going to be Baby Metal and I'd like to say a big massive thank you to Steve who sent me over this particular link and he said you know long time you haven't done a Baby Metal song not only that you know you haven't done I think I've done one reaction of Baby Metal where coming from London or coming from England so this one um, I is um, bullying no good no good I there is the music video but this is the live performances and what it's got here is live at Sony Fair 2014 so I'm looking at right now I'm looking for the crowd control the obedience the the way how they enjoy themselves but be in control now i know how us england bobbies are when it comes to i'm um, hearing a fantastic song we just can't help but express ourselves in in various different ways and i want to see the difference i want to see the comparison between um the, the the baby metal fans from different various countries so we're starting over with the english fans do they behave themselves or not? I do not know, uh, but I'm definitely going to find out. So that's going to be Baby Metal. That's going to be my next reaction. Bullying, no good, no good. Yeah, bullying is no good. It's no good. I'm going to read a couple of your comments, then go straight into, uh, or, and shout outs, and go straight into the my next reaction, which is the Baby Metal. So Grinton, Grinton 300, 300, good morning, sir. How are you? Big, massive respect. Um, Steve um, Bilko, um, the person who absolutely sent me this particular link so massive thank you for that and you know he, he spotted out that there was certain missing gaps um that i haven't reacted to yet so thank you very much for pointing that out and as well as sending me the link um Foo horn old man good morning sir fox god good morning david metal good morning um debbie um, Gilroy, good morning <laughs> hardened crater good morning <laughs> martin metal good morning <laughs> Um, tur is it Turboz? Good morning, Roadrunner. Good morning, um, Airline Secret. Good morning, how you doing? Um, not on Airline Secret with um, Gary Holloway. Good morning, how you doing? Um, Tomb World. Good morning, how you doing? Um, Jeff. Good morning, how you doing? Um, you guys have been absolutely amazing in my support, and you know it, it's only fair that I give you a, as plenty of shout outs as possible. Anyway, look, let's, let's go straight into my last reaction today. So this is my fourth reaction, Baby Metal with Bullion. No good, no good. So you know what we're here for? Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you take it? Baby metal in the UK. I hope we behave ourselves. I really do. Okay. They got the circle. Oh come on. See now that would not happen. Stop right there. Sorry. Look, 20 seconds into it. That will not happen um, at a baby metal concert. Um do, do, do you understand what I'm talking about now? Massive difference. Yes, you can see the, um, uh, you know, the flag and everything else. Everybody's representing. That's fine. Massive crowd. Brilliant. I was talking about the crowd control. I'm. I can't help what think. Um, can't help, and um, th but think what Baby Metal's thinking right about now when they're looking into the crowd and seeing and having a contrast of the crowd back home to the crowd over here to the crowd of to to their Lon to the England fans. One done a somersault. Who would done a somersault? Ah, oh man, it's sometimes it's fun to look, but sometimes it can be somewhat embarrassing. Do you know, I'm not even going to go back. I'm just going to press play. It's for me to watch this. What they're doing in the crowd right now? Just that small part. Twenty seconds in, I'm embarrassed already. <laughs> and they even start singing. Look. Look how small and young and cute she looks. And she still has to carry on, even though the crowd's going crazy. Or silly.
Sorry, but when you hear the intro, you understand why the crowd goes crazy, don't you? <laughs> and you think, well, I would have done a cartwheel as well, wouldn't I? <laughs> uh, that's what you're thinking. I know you're thinking that. I'm thinking that. I would have been doing that. I'd be stage diving as soon as you hear that noise. But you wouldn't be doing it before. There's no reason for you to do it before. Where's your hyperness? Unless you've had, you know, loads of sugar. <laughs> I'm just going to press play. Come on. Yeah, I see that. That's fine. That big thing just reminds me of Queen. Yeah. You know what I like? She, like I said, she must be looking in the crowd thinking, you look are absolutely crazy. But what professionalism at a young age where she's looking in the crowd and still going, um, still doing what she's came here to do, her performances, um, as uh, you know, e even uh, Moa um, doing the same thing as well. Uh, um, just doing the same, you know, get on with your dancing, get on with your performance. But I can't help but think that it's giving me this sense of, okay, do your performance and get out of here. You know, these crowds are a bit too wild. But at the same time, it's like the Kami band are playing such amazing songs that it wants you to just let yourself go and just, you know, and just vibe off of it. We've got, I'm sure that they, when they've been around the world, they see the different way how uh, different countries appreciate them in different ways, you know. And I think England has got this way of expressing themselves um, in, in large volumes um, and, and, and don't, um, and don't sugarcoat it, you know? Look. You know me get that at, 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 at adult function, not at, not baby mode. I've got to watch the video, the music, the original video, the music video for this. I don't know what it is, but <clears throat> I'm losing something here. Is it a case of that I would have felt it more if they was back home? Is that, an, is that a selfish thing to think about? Or is it a case because I'm used to reacting to so many be baby metal uh, performances when they're performing at home. I'm not accustomed to them performing anywhere else. So it kind of looks weird. It just looks like there's this, there's this massive space. It doesn't look... Um, so I think at when they're performing in their home, it, it feels concentrated. It feels everything is... is, is it's right, it's perfect, it's down, everything is being thought about, you know, down to the last fly that's flying in the, in the arena, you know, but this, it feels more spacious, like, th there's so much gaps that, that should have been filled in, there's so much things that should have been happening while this has been going on, it just feels so spacious, there's, like, there's a lot of room. That's the only difference that I'm sensing right about now, let me know what you think about what I'm saying here, if, if you understand what I'm saying right about now. I don't know if they're feeling this or not. I mean, they give, they don't know. Look, one hundred percent, baby metal will give their hundred per thousand percent, no matter where they are around the world. That's not what I'm talking about here. I just feel that there's this emptiness some about this. Let me know what you think. It's a brilliant performance. I'm not talking nothing away, taking nothing away from baby metal. I'm really not. Maybe it's just me that I'm not accustomed to seeing them perform outside from their homes. I don't know.
she's got a wicked voice. Everybody knows that. But that's fun, but... Kimmy Bang always does it for me as well. Sorry, every time when I see Sue, um, Sue perform, I can't help think, but how would she be like if she was like a, a K-pop artist of, of some sort? How, you know, she's got a brilliant voice. She has got a lovely voice and she never disappoints it. But how would she, about, imagine if the tables had turned and they didn't want her to go into this kind of heavy metal. And they wanted her to go into the K-pop because that's what she was destined for. To be fair, um, to do, to for this pop era, that's what she was trained from a young age to become. And if everybody knows about the baby metal story and and Sue's uh, and Sue's story and how she's come into um, what is the the heavy metal vibe, and she certainly has um, you know she's taken the reins now in in a in, you know in a maturity age. This is this is going back in you know 2014. So come on, she's baby 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 but i wonder how it would have been i think do you know what has she done a solo piece yet where it's a a non-heavy metal song because if she hasn't done that i think that's something that's going to be around the corner kind of thing it's just so it, don't get me better baby metal will always be in their heart and anything else but i just can't help that you know she she's what 22 now um it's only a matter of time before oh no she's very dedicated don't get me wrong very very dedicated but i can see round about 27 uh when she reaches 27 28 that she's going to do something that is a ballad that's non-heavy metal you got to remember she has not come from a heavy metal background she's always wanted to be in this um k-pop thing and when somebody threw her a, a bone and said okay let's do this heavy metal thing she's questioned it you know it wasn't like oh yes i love heavy, heavy metal let's go into it no it was a a a cautious step for her and a trusting step that led her into what baby metal is so when you're uh, it's like you want to become a footballer, but you're a famous basketball player. You're just always going to have that thing in the back of your head is, well, if, you know, uh, you know, of that basketball player. So I think, has she got this, I'm thinking that she's got this niggling thing in the back of her that's going to one day say, right, I've got to do a pop song or some kind of ballad song, what representing what I wanted to do, um, when I was younger, because I haven't fulfilled that yet. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm babbling on. Sorry. But, you know, let's have a debate about that. The makeup, what the Kami Bands have. <laughs> Typical English weather. No sunshine, grey clouds. <laughs> She must be looking at their skin. Look at these crowds. So I'm seriously looking at them to see if what they're looking at the crowd. Look. We hate William, by the way. You're <laughs> losing it. <laughs> the dance routine is always. I love the dance routine. But they fight fighting now. Representing. Was they representing someone being bullied and somebody 
you know what I mean. I'm going to let this press play. I just want to stop it right there just to, because I saw them sort of like kind of doing a fighting um, dance moving thing there. Um, but then when they put their thumbs together and pledged to them, I think that was a kind of like a pledge. You know, we will stop the bullying, you know, that kind of thing. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know. I'm not even going to go back. I'm just going to press play. See, was that a fighting thing? A famous fox sign. I'm looking at Sue's face. She's keeping looking at the crowd in that way, look, see? Fantastic crowd, loads. I think mean, that's what I'm there looking at. The stage diving. Are they doing the fox signs? I'm keeping seeing like, is it like uh, they're doing that bit? But I, I'm sure they're doing that the fox the, the, the fox logo as um, as well. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm keeping um, uh, I'm pausing all the time. But I'm looking at Sue's face, and <clears throat> normally, like I said, when she's back home, there's more concentration on the words and you know express herself and, and and being from one end to the stage to the other stage, um, looking at giving the the Sue stare. I haven't seen that Stu say. What I'm seeing is that she's looking in the crowd. She's performing. But her eyes are looking at the crowd and thinking, you guys are crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm getting that facial expression. Can you not see what I'm seeing right now? <laughs> she's looking at the crowd thinking, there's a lot of things that I'm not seeing that the, the, the camera's not um, focusing on. They focus on baby metal, which is quite rightly. But when they're focusing back onto the crowd, it's like they're giving you the diluted version of what the, cl what the cr crowd is actually doing. I think they're doing some proper things, just raising the eyebrow to the, um, to the baby metal. Uh, but they're still persevering. They're still being very, very, very professional. They're showing their professionalism on stage. And at a young age, who shows, uh, what young child shows their professionalism on the, ch on the stage? I would. I, I need to see what the crowds are doing. That's making Sue having that face expression. She's almost like she's singing, but for professional singing. But she's going like, "What the heck is going on here? Did you just see what that man did? You know that kind of thing." Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna press play. Sorry. Apologies, I think I paused it right at the end. Look at that. Damn. Oh, that is wicked. I want that one. See you. See you. <laughs>